Hello folks, today I'm going to be setting up the TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. So I'm excited for this. This is something we purchased so that we could upgrade our current mesh network, which is only Wi-Fi 6. Now that we actually have a number of devices that do support Wi-Fi 7 in the home. One thing to note, I was actually originally looking to purchase the Netgear Orbi 770 Wi-Fi system. The reason I was swayed towards the Deco in the end is that each of these three nodes does actually have four two and a half gigabit LAN ports, whereas with the Netgear Orbi, the satellites only have two. And the other thing as well is like the Netgear, this does also support MLO, which is gonna be fantastic for keeping a strong Wi-Fi 7 connection on devices that support it. And above all, this was cheaper, so it was a bit of a no-brainer. And even though this is the three pack, we can actually add more nodes to the system later on if we deem that is necessary. So we've got a box here with all of our cables. We'll check that out in just a moment. But I can see the nodes and yeah, these are pretty nifty looking. One thing I do like about them, I'll just show you this up close. I'm not sure how well this comes through on camera, but you see these lines going across here and down here. That is actually in the shape of a seven since this does support Wi-Fi 7. So a cool little design choice there, I thought. And on the back, we have those four two and a half gigabit LAN ports that I mentioned. Each of these nodes also has a USB 3 port as well. So you can use this to connect a hard drive, an external drive of some kind, if you want to put video files on there, or perhaps just to have a shared network drive and then you can access those files from any device or computer. And then on the bottom, I'll just cover up the codes. There is a reset switch if you do need to hard reset your network, and we have some rubber feet as well. So this will hopefully be non-slip on most surfaces. One of the reasons I like this system is that every node is identical. So any of these three nodes can serve as your main primary router, and then the, any of the other two can then serve as the satellites. So let's just lay these out. With this system, you are able to connect up to 200 devices. Again, with the Netgear, it was only up to 100. Now, to be honest with you, even with all of our security cameras, 100 would have been more than sufficient, but it's nice that you can do double the amount here. So if we do expand the network later on with more devices, then at least this is going to be future-proof in that sense. Yep, looks like we have our three adapters here, plugs whatever you want to call them. Little quick start guide along with, on the reverse here, a single ethernet cable. All of the ports on the back, all of the ethernet ports are dual WAN and LAN. So it doesn't matter which one you actually connect to your internet source either. Just as a bit of a comparison, our current Wi-Fi 6 network is in place. So I just wanna show you a speed test using my phone close to the main node for this mesh system. Okay, my old system that is, so that we can see what speeds we're getting. And then later on, we'll be able to do that comparison with the new system here that supports Wi-Fi 7. So let's go ahead and do that test now. Very close to my current mesh system, again, Wi-Fi 6 and upload usually around the same sort of speed, maybe a little lower. Yeah, so actually not bad for Wi-Fi, I've got to be honest on Wi-Fi 6 here. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. 950, so 920 and 750 up. Okay, so that's the length of the cable. I'd say probably just over a meter, not the longest in the world, unfortunately. Uh, this is the power cable I'm showing you here. So let's get this plugged in. Okay, so I've got my ethernet cable, my power cable. I'm going to get those connected into the first node. This is the front room uh, where we have our main internet source, the ONT. So this is going to be the perfect position. Let's plug this into any one of those four LAN ports will do the job absolutely fine. I'll stick it into the bottom one there. And I'm just gonna give that a moment or two and get the app fired up as well. Okay, so I have downloaded the app. I've set up a free account. It is the TP-Link Deco app that you want. All I've done is put it into dark mode, um, but otherwise I think we should be able to set this up. So let's tap, let's begin. And what we can do is scan the code on the device and that will actually then detect the products that we have. So we haven't got to go through the list. And there we go, it's found it. The Deco BE65 is this particular model. So let's set up this Deco here. 
Okay, it's guiding us through the plugging in process, which I have actually already done. I've only got the one node, obviously, turned on at the moment. So we're going to be setting these up one at a time. Let's tap connect here. And it's found it. How easy was that? Now it's going to hopefully set up the internet connection. Depending on your ISP, you may need to input a username and password here. That won't be the username for your TP link account. So just check your ISP to see what that would be if you need it. Start by selecting dynamic IP because that will hopefully set this up without needing that. But you can see there are some of these other options. PPPOE is probably going to be the second most common here, which will need, as I say, some kind of login information. And yeah, we're going to be setting up our Wi-Fi network now. And then it will automatically set up a different SSID, a different network for your dedicated 6 gigahertz band. So this is going to be great for devices that support the 6 gigahertz band. And yeah, we'll just keep the default there. So let's tap next. And the network is going to be created for us. All pretty self-explanatory, I have to say, so far. Very easy. I would imagine once we've gone through this setup and the internet is working, that it will check for any firmware updates, which is probably going to be the longest part of the process if it does need to perform those updates, because it will have to download and then update the software. But we'll see what happens. Save your Wi-Fi network to your phone. OK. OK, testing internet connection. Yep, yeah, perfect. It's found the internet connection. I didn't have to input any details, such as account name. Uh, it's done it all for me. So really, really simple setup process there with the app. Can't complain about that at all. And now it's time to plug in the other decos. Now, the way that's best to do this, I'm actually going to be having my other two deco nodes set up over wired backhaul. You can actually have the choice here, wired or wireless backhaul, or a combination of the both, which is uh, an interesting thing that you can do with this system. And I've now got the other two nodes plugged in relatively close by. No other cables, just the power cable. And let's tap next here. Wait until all LEDs pulse blue. OK, so I've got the nodes all set up and I've got this one on the wall here, so it looks quite tidy. Now, there was a firmware update, which it was going to install automatically, but I've just gone ahead and done this one manually. So it's cut the network off for a few minutes. I haven't set up the smart uh, Wi-Fi network, sorry, the IoT network. I'll do that a little bit later. Right now, I've just made sure that the system as a whole is working, which it is. And I've got some very strong connections all throughout our home, which is obviously fantastic. And in the garage too, which is an external building. And I have got all three nodes connected over wired backhaul. OK, so the update is complete. The network is set up. But before we finish, I'm going to head back over to the studio in the garage to just run through a couple of settings that you'll want to check out and make sure they're turned on. So let's pop over there to finish up. So now that I've got the BE65 system all set up and everything seems to be working fine, I've showed you I also did the firmware update as well. I'm gonna go ahead now and do a speed test on the Wi-Fi 7 connection. So I've got my phone connected to Wi-Fi 7. Let's go ahead and tap start here and see what sort of speeds we can expect. So we got about 800 megabits per second on the Wi-Fi 6, but I can tell straight away, vast, vast improvement here. Double the speeds for the download. It looks like 1600 megabits per second. I've never seen Wi-Fi speeds like that in my life, if I'm going to be frank. And upload, are we going to get a good speed as well? It looks like we are. Yes, it looks like even faster than the download speed. So I'm currently about eight feet away from the actual node that I'm connected to. And yeah, check those speeds out there, guys. So theoretically, Wi-Fi 7 is capable of up to 42 or 46, I think, actually, gigabits per second. But even so, I'm not going to be expecting that. The speeds I am getting, which is double what I was getting on Wi-Fi 6, is obviously a vast improvement. So just to show you in the app here, you can see that all of the nodes are connected and they are connected over wired backhaul currently in the garage right now, so that's the node that I'm connected to. And I haven't set up the IoT network just yet for my smart devices, but I will do that once I finish this video. Um, what I am going to do is just show you something you do need to do, because for some reason this was disabled by default. And if you want to make use of Wi-Fi 7, if you have any Wi-Fi 7 devices, or even if you are going to be using the wireless backhaul, you will definitely want to do this. And that is to head over to the More option at the bottom of the app, and then head to the Wi-Fi settings 
and then scroll down and enable the MLO network. This is specially dedicated for Wi-Fi 7 and it will allow the, the, uh, the DECO system to actually sort out what the best connection for your Wi-Fi 7 is going to be to any device at any time between the 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz bands. So it's absolutely vital that you get that enabled and that that is the network that you then connect to with your Wi-Fi 7 enabled devices, as long as your devices do support MLO. But folks, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. First look introduction to the BE65 mesh Wi-Fi 7 system from TP-Link. Initial impressions are definitely positive, getting some pretty nifty speeds there, which I'm happy with but I'll see how it works once I put it through its paces over the coming weeks and months. So thank you very much for stopping by. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and I'll see you soon.